this is it the suv we've all been waiting for forever now i mean just look at it it is of course the land rover defender it is in india it is the one for us today though i can't take it out for a drive but what i can do is just give you a nice walk around tell you everything about the design about the interiors what all features it has and of course the slightly updated prices the defender has a cult following and is an icon that it has finally come to india has gotten a lot of us excited because just look at it now design is the biggest part of the defender it is such an iconic design this one of course has had people talking about it since its unveil the previous one has a cult following just because of the way it looks and i wouldn't blame i mean just look at this thing it is fantastic these round headlamps well they are not round anymore but they do have this nice round led strip looks very nice these of course are led headlamps with the optional matrix led lights low down you have the led fog lamps that are part of this brushed metal bumper now this bumper of course has a lot of inserts to let out that water when you are water wading it also has inserts to let the air go straight onto the brake discs helpful while off roading it's all very very functional i mean it looks aesthetically pleasing but everything on here has a function especially these side vents therefore when you want to slap on a snorkel it'll just attach here and go right up to the a pillar moving on to the side you have these massive side view mirrors of course they are quite big and they have to be because there's so much car that you need to show they have blind spot assist as well moving on you can see the height which is i mean it's clearly towering over me i am over 6 feet and this car still is huge it really takes you by a surprise how big this car is and what is extremely interesting is of course this c pillar that gets this sort of a tile design now it might seem like an accessory on the outside but behind this is a function we will get to that later wheels are 20 inches on the first edition model you can up it by 22 inches and you can also opt for the smaller steel wheels for when you're specifically off roading doing some really hardcore stuff that's also there moving on to the back it is a lot more recognizable as a defender now the highlights of course are these led tail lamps you also have these nice two small inserts like a tribute to that old school car and that old school charm it's very nice the massive spare wheel of course mounted at the back now the other classic very defender bit on this car of course is the tailgate very very easy almost effortless and as you can see there is plenty of boot space on offer and the boot floor too has a tough plastic panel so you don't have to worry about scratching the surfaces there are charging options in the back as well with two charging sockets on either sides and a three pin socket present as well what you also get are two extra seats at the back now these are of course a lot easy to just pull them up and just like that you have a 5 plus 2 now land rover calls it 5 plus 2 they don't call it a 7 seater because these two seats aren't really made for adults and something i'll demonstrate later also the loading lip is quite high as you can see and if you have big luggage it will be a problem but it is a problem that won't be too long because you can just at the push of a button get this down and quite down actually it really does help that much what also is a nice plush touch is soft close now once you've managed to climb inside the defender it is amazing how much space there is i mean this cabin is one of the widest cabins i've been in there is literally so much room that you can actually stretch quite a lot but being a almost rupees 1 crore car you do expect some sort of luxury i mean and it is there it is just not in the traditional sense there's no wood there's no metal it's all very very functional everything is washable and wipeable you can clean everything you can get it dirty you don't have to worry about it but let's start with the cabin what you get first is of course this nice chunky steering wheel wrapped in leather but not much more i mean you do miss out on that plush sort of aluminum and piano black but you do get a lot of plastic again very functional doesn't look bad but it is in that traditional defender style and it also reminds you that it is at the end of the day a hardcore off-roader speaking of the steering you have these massive chunks of plastic that get all the functions now these are customizable they do change 
their nature as you toggle through the menu and what is also impressive is this fully digital 12.3 inch screen it is crisp it's vibrant it is highly customizable and it is definitely premium what is also great are these materials now these are all leatherette but you can still give it a wipe you don't have to worry about staining them or soiling them and you have a ton of cubby holes ton of storage space this of course has the cooled box here you have some space for your phone then you have some space for your cup holders you have some space down here you have space here 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 i mean this thing is absolutely loaded you can put anything anywhere you just might even lose stuff it has so much then you get to the usb ports and clearly land rover knows how obsessed we are with our devices the amount of charging points they've given is ridiculous you have three down here first is a type c charging you have the usb a and you also have a traditional car charger socket you also have a usb a here and there are more in the back but we'll get to that later now the seats are nice and supple they are big they are broad they also plush they have this nice leather treatment but they also have these fabric inserts on the side that are easy to clean it is just so much more functional in terms of carpets you do get standard carpets on this one but you can opt for a rubberized floor which is again a lot easier to clean now that's something that is really in handy when you're throwing this car around in mud moving on to the center console which is probably the most modern bit in the defender now this massive 10 inch touch screen is absolutely fantastic it's crisp it's responsive it's vibrant it looks very good it offers a ton of information it gives you your wading depth it gives you your slope assist it gives you all the off road information you need of course you also get the cameras the 360 degree cameras you can change the angles there's just so much packed in here that it needs a day of shooting honestly then you get down to the buttons these of course the knobs are customizable you press the button it changes the fan speed you press it again it changes back to the climate control you also notice the gear shifter that is now mounted on the center console as opposed to its traditional place that is because you can also customize the defender to be a three seater at the front now what that means is that this whole console will no longer be present you can actually put a jump seat in here or you can also not have that and just have it as a two seat car to just make access easy you can actually run around there's just so much space low down you have again like i mentioned plenty of storage space and it's all rubberized so everything will stay where you left it now the other really interesting bit on the defender is this rear view mirror now i know what you're thinking what's so impressive about it it is a standard rear view mirror but at the flick of a button it turns into a screen now this screen is projected through the camera that is placed in the shark fin antenna and that is because from here if you don't have this all you can see is the headrest for the middle passenger and part of that spare wheel and it is pretty inaccessible from where i'm sitting so i will definitely need that screen now with the defender the more you see the more you notice these exposed screws are not for aesthetics these are functional they are actually holding this whole door panel in place and that is just so cool the fact that they are letting it show and not hiding it behind like acres of leather it is just very very cool what's also interesting are the amount of grab rails on offer you get one here for the driver you get one for the passenger you also have one up top and it's just overall that hardcore suv but with just that much luxury now i don't know how many of you will actually sit in the back but of course i'll do it for your friends and family space for one is fantastic there's a lot of leg room there's plenty of headroom this cabin of course like i said is nice and wide but again the amount of charging infrastructure is ridiculous you get four of them here down below you get two standard car chargers then you get two usb a's and you also get usb a ports in the front seats with a slot to hang your coat or probably an ipad you can choose that in the accessories menu other bits on the defender include a massive panoramic sunroof now i've said it before you need to have a sunroof on an suv even the defender knew it it had to have a sunroof what you also get though are these alpine windows now these are also called safari windows some call them giraffe windows they are basically so that you can see out of them and you can see the animals on the trees for when you're on a safari or a jungle trail whatever but i don't know how much you'll see from here but they do add a lot of character they get in a lot of light just opens up the cabin that much more so it's a really nice touch and it also is a tribute to the older one because that too had these there is enough room on offer here and thanks to the high ground clearance there is no transmission tunnel eating away into the floor you also get climate control in the back 
Now, like I've said, the Defender is a 5 plus 2 seater, which means it is a 5 seater, but it also has two seats not meant for adults. But we will give them a try. What you do, pull the seat ahead quite narrow here. Getting in is a struggle. Ah. And once you're in here, yeah, I can totally see why they didn't call it a seven seater. There's just no room for an adult here, not even for short trips. I mean, if you're really short, under five feet, maybe because my legs are completely shoved into the middle row here, it's just not a good place to be. I mean, it's so claustrophobic. Also that floating square tile that you saw outside, if it wasn't there, I would have just had that much more extra window, but it isn't. I get this sort of small window, part of that Alpine window, but it still is not the place to be. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, children, maybe, and short trips, really short trips, maybe. But you still get AC vents here, you get a blower control, you get cup holders, and you also get two more charging ports. The Defender was launched early this year, but prices since then have been slightly updated. Prices for the Defender start at 73.98 lakh for the 90, which is the three door, and 79.94 lakh for this 110. Now, of course, at those prices, you're looking at Range Rover Sport, you're looking at the Velar, you're looking at the Discovery, and of course, you're looking at the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. But let me tell you, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. I have not driven it yet, and yet, I already think this is going to destroy everything in its path. So, I can't wait to drive it, but for now, the first impression that it was has been an absolutely fantastic one.